All right, here we've got hand 24 from the first qualifying session of the fast pairs. And I thought you made just a, an amazing bid here. Um, so they, I opened a club and they bid a heart and you bid two hearts. And that's one of our little gadgets. It shows spades, six spades and, you know, at least constructive values. So this is like, this is not a minimum, but it's, it's not that much more than a minimum. And it went three hearts past four hearts. And now on three little clubs, you figured out to bid five clubs, um, which was just cold, right? I lost the ace of clubs and the ace of hearts. Um, so talk us through how you figured this out. Sure. Uh, well, it's it's cold because the diamonds come in, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the, I can tell you what the thinking was. <laughs> uh, and the fact that you had 11 cards in the minors was obviously not known to me. But the uh, the thought was, it, you certainly don't have three spades, right? And it's not even terrifically likely that you have two. Uh, we would you would often compete to three spades if if we had an eight card fit here. I'm not always, but you could. They're bidding and three, raising just about always. Three always, yeah. Two spades, mm, you know, you can, uh, but a lot of times you're you're probably going to bid one more in this spot when you know I have six, because I have at least six. Uh, and they're bidding and raising hearts. So with you having short spades and probably not that many hearts it's possible that you have four uh but it not tremendously likely uh that gives you and since you've opened a club that gives you unless we've been tremendously unlucky at least five clubs so i think the minimum expected club length i have for you is five and my hand is a lot better than i've shown with two hearts we play two hearts as like constructive or better Right, you could do it without the king of Cl a king of diamonds. Right, would so, be like dead minimum. So this bid was like, I wasn't entirely sure it was going to make, uh, but I didn't want to defend four hearts. I, I mean, know, I yeah. I see looking at it that four hearts is going down, but I mean four hearts is going down because you know, well, I didn't want to defend four hearts. Right, I mean to counter it like. In hearts, if I'm short in spades, there's a fair chance of ace king of spades cashing and maybe even a rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean this is all true. Uh, I don't know that this is the best bid I've ever made, you know, ever. But I did work out that that uh, was extremely likely that we had a club fit of at least eight. Right, which and is a really good inference. You know, think putting putting that hand together of okay, partner can't have too many spades because he didn't raise, and he can't have too many hearts because they're bidding like they have a lot of hearts, and he can't have too many diamonds because he opened a club. Um, yeah, yeah, really solid thinking. Uh, I noticed at least that I'm not alone. Uh, there, there are some other five clubs. Yeah, I this. mean, it's possible that the Wests at those tables took more than one bid. <laughs> right? I opened this and a club. And then never bid again. Um, I remember being pretty surprised to hear five clubs because, like, I have six good clubs, mm -hmm. and then much more surprised to see the dummy come down with three little clubs. I was like, "That's I'm, I'm, a baller bid." I'm curious what your initial plan was for getting your second suit in, having opened a club. Yeah, I I had decided that if it went a club. A major i was just going to bid two clubs mm -hmm. and you know if the auction continued i would show the diamonds but i was i was willing to suppress them uh, yeah well this is a really important like lesson for I, i've seen a lot of newer players they'll open this hand a club because their shape suggests they should and then they think well i can't suppress a five card side suit so right. they'll just bid two diamonds and say, you know, and their partner's like, well, you've reversed and you have a 10 count. Like, right. Oh, but I can't, you know, what can I do? And so, you you know, you have to choose between either opening a club and rebidding two clubs or opening a diamond. Right. If, if you, you know. If the five card suit were hearts, right, I would definitely open a heart. 
Mm -hmm. You just, you don't want to bury a five card major, but a five card diamond suit. I'm not, eh, it's, you know, it could be a disaster, but it's not going to be a huge disaster. Yep. Um, you know, and there's lots of times I can like bid clubs and then maybe make some sort of like scrambling to no Trump bid later to suggest diamonds. Um, or, you know, if you keep bidding, I can bid clubs, clubs, diamonds, and you'll get a fair sense of it. Yeah. So, but that was my thinking. Obviously one diamond and then rebidding clubs a couple times is a fair way to bid it too. But now, you know, with a hand like you have, we're going to end up in diamonds instead of clubs eight card instead of nine card you know it's not the end of the world but i'd rather be in clubs yeah diamonds especially yeah. in diamonds it goes ace of clubs club rough <laughs> it's true yeah again you get us to the the money spot you know this the five six shape is interesting i mean there's a there seems to be a sort of almost religious debate about what to do when you're four or five in the minors and you have an unbalanced hand with a minimum right like whether you open a diamond and try to catch up or whether you open a club and rebid a no trump because in invariably your partner bids your singleton. Right. And you then faced with this decision of like, do I rebid my five card minor? Do I rebid a no trump? And partner thinks I have two. And then I, I hear four major out of them, you know. Right. Uh, I tend to open a diamond on those hands. Uh, I do too. I mean, it, the, the full hand matters, right? If my of clubs course. are like king, queen, 10, nine, fifth, I'm probably opening a club and rebidding two clubs. If I have like a stiff king of spades, I'll probably rebid a spade, a no trump. Right. Uh, but yeah, the what the principle here is like, you've got to tell the best lie. Right, and you Nothing have to perfect. Think, right, and you have to think of it in terms of a two bid sequence. Mm -hmm. Right. If I had to describe the hand in one bid, I would always open this hand a club, but I have to think about okay, two bids, right, and a club, a spade, two clubs versus a diamond, a spade, two clubs. And, you know, there's certainly arguments both ways. And then you start thinking, what about three bids or four bids? You know, what's going to describe the hand best? Um, but thinking in terms of that rebid, when you have these imperfect shapes, very important. Mm. Your hand makes me think about when I used to play a system where a two no Trump opener showed both minors. We played that at some point. We did. It's yeah. very convenient when you have it. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been a good one here. <laughs> yeah. And we have a good open we have a good uh defensive strategy against that one, right? If someone opens that against us. If, I, if the opponents open to no Trump showing the minors. I admit that I do not remember our defense to this convention. We play no Trump systems. So three clubs is stamen and three diamonds and three hearts are transfers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't even have a vague memory of that. I mean, we we did back in the day when we had lots of system notes. Back when we had a hundred pages of notes. Yeah. Mostly, what I remember from those hundreds of pages of notes was that every time we would sit down to practice, I would always ask, "Can we please practice stamen?" And I think that was part of the reason why we eventually ended up moving towards a simpler system because you were you were frustrated that every single time I was like, "Can we please practice stamen?" And you're like, "This is ridiculous! Like, we shouldn't have to practice stamen systems." But mo mostly, what I remember about it was that the sequence one no trump, two clubs, two of a major, three of the major, denied a fit, and was a slam try. That's right. We had we had some weird stamen agreements, which is really playing with fire. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like those people who play two no Trump, three no Trump is not. I want to play three no Trump. Mm -hmm. Scariest convention in bridge. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I think that's the last of the hands we're going to do. Um, so thanks, Greg. This has been a lot of fun. And yeah. playing with you, obviously, was a ton of fun. Um, I hope everyone out there. It's a lot more fun when you win. Yeah. Well, I hope everyone has enjoyed these videos and, um, you know, I hope we win another one. So we have to do some more videos. I and guess we could do more videos without winning, but I think we should. I mean, we did pretty well in the Silidor. Uh, I'm noticing by the way, on this hand that someone managed to bid the East West cards to the lofty heights of seven spades, seven spades, which did not fetch. Huh? 
Huh. Did they get doubled? They did. They did. Yeah, North, North think, found a double. I would think North with two aces and Queen Jack nine eight of Trumps yeah. could find that double. Yeah. Well done, North. All right. That's it for us. Bye.